Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I thought I would do a beauty room tour slash makeup collection video. So I hope you will enjoy it. It will be long so grab a snack and well let's go into this video. So here we have my little beauty room. This is so small guys. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. So you come in like this and here's the desk and yeah a lot of makeup here <laughs> and then you have my few of my palettes looks like this and then we just turn around here I <laughs> put my ring light over there because there is no space in here uh, and then I have uh, this one uh, with all my ponies right here and I'm just gonna give you like a little tour here so you can see this is a pretty small room and if we just I want to put I hope I remember to put the timestamp when you if you just want to see my collection so you can skip this but I really hope I remember to do that but if we just start over here we have a few of my ponies I have a few of them down here as well and then I have some palettes here and then here we have some cheat masks I think and yeah just some random stuff I don't know so this is a makeup bag this is from Jouer and this is the makeup bag I use when I'm doing my makeup like every day so I put all of the makeup I want to use in there and then <laughs> this one when I film I take this one out because this is big this is taking too much too much space and I have all my backdrops here and I also have this right here. I'm going to show you a picture how it looks when I have all my settings up. So this is how it looks when I have my setup. So as you can see, I have my backdrop up here behind me and there is the chair. And then I have my little table with the computer and I have this reflector. Um, and then I have my ring light. And I have a soft box over here as you can see and this camera stand right here so if we just take a look from this side so this is how it looks just in front of me so I have uh, this view and there's the ring light as I said and here's the soft box and yeah this is how I film and then just this uh, camera stand and yeah I have my wigs in here as well and then I just have some random pictures I love Marilyn Monroe so I have Marilyn Monroe I have my mother and that's me actually <laughs> my sister did this uh, dress um, so we wanted to take pictures of that and here is my garden a little bit you can see and my window well here I have just some uh, hair products uh, just some uh, random hair products and then we have like a five uh, drawer Alex uh, drawer thing and then this beautiful like uh, skateboard what do you say like <laughs> I'll put it down here. Uh, I really, really like this. This is quite unique, actually. And then I have all my palettes here. But have you seen my palette video, my eyeshadow palette collection? I will leave it up in the card if you want to see that. Then I have some like decoration and looks like this. And I have this container here, this acrylic container that has a lot of makeup in there as well just some boxes this is just some random stuff I also have down here I have a drawer as well and then we just have a little space right here that I have some pictures and yeah some flowers so you can see this is a small room so I can't do like big settings like I can't have like another background it would be very hard for me to do that because I have to have these um, 
this ring light and soft boxes and all that and yeah so that's why I have my backdrop over here because when I close my door when I close my door it looks like this and that's not a fun backdrop oh I have this one as well this is pretty cool uh, I did this uh, to our our wedding uh, two years ago and <laughs> this is so cool so I put flowers here and I have done these kinds of decoration things here with like roses and stuff I think it's very girly but I really really like it so now we can start with the makeup collection so we're gonna start with this uh, Alex drawer right here and <laughs> this is not interesting what's in this I think I just have some single eyeshadows uh, these are from H&M I, I never used them actually but this is really really pretty this one um, let me see what is this award season uh, this is a beautiful beautiful shade can you see how that shimmer how that sparkles like very very beautiful anyways here are from H&M Miss Stockholm and these are from a makeup store these are some new ones some old ones I don't know I don't use these I think I'm going to give these away um, to someone who actually maybe enjoy it <laughs> then I have some brushes here and these are the brushes I use like for every day I'm just gonna show you very quickly like yeah you can see I have a few of them I always keep them there's so always take these out when I'm doing my makeup here's just some random stuff this is just some brushes I have some from real technique Oop. <laughs> and I have well makeup revolution ones i have i don't know what i have here i mostly brushes but yeah this is how this drawer looks actually very boring <laughs> so this is my blushes and i have actually recently organized these uh and done this uh, acrylic uh, organizing thing i will try to leave it down below where i bought it because it was on amazon amazon and this is like one piece so you can just take these out and customize how you want you can put them like in this um things right here so you can customize how you would like to have it and all these like this plastic that was left over I did another one back here so I actually just bought two of these uh, so I just customized these uh, myself when I had some of them left anyways these are my blushes and here is some from iHeartRevolution these triple ones I think they are very very beautiful I have Two of them this is quite dark actually but this one is very very pretty then I have let me see this one I heart revolution one I have two from Milani these uh, rose blushes and this is the coral cove and this is the romantic rose both of these are very 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 pretty but they smell I mean it smells horrible I can't smell it because it smells really really bad <laughs> that's really really sad actually but it is a very very nice blush and then I have three here from revolution it's their blusher reloaded I have these three right here so this is my favorite this is the peach bliss and this one is let me see love struck no love struck and this one is ballerina so I have three of those and then this one is my absolute not favorite but it has been my favorite for a while since I got it so this is the Miss Lynn treat me sweet blush this is so so pretty I'll just show you I don't know if you can see but 
it is this beautiful pinky shade and it looks absolutely stunning on your cheeks and then I have from Bare Minerals and then I have this one Soap and Glory I really like this I bought this in um, I'm going to swatch a lot I think uh, I bought this in New York when I was there because you can get it there and uh, it's kind of can you see it's like a blush topper because it's very very shimmery uh, but I really really like that one and then I have some minis here this is just random stuff I don't know this is from Lancome and I have a small orgasm from NARS <laughs> never used this and I have this is beautiful actually this is from Bare Minerals this is the Juvus Juvus Jennifer something like that it's just like a loose loose blush and this one is pretty as well this is from NYX and this is the summer is this just summer summer uh, this is so 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 pigmented uh, it's crazy how pigmented this is you have to be really light-handed and then I have this blush stick from uh, Colourpop and then over here I have some Milani blushes I have four of them I really love these these baked blushes my absolute favorite one is this one uh, so this is the Belmisio bronze Belmisio, Belmissimo bronze let me see here. Do I say that right? Bellissimo bronze. This is so stunning. This is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see this different uh, shades in here? And it is what it is. It is like a bronzy peachy shade with a shimmer and it looks absolutely stunning on my skin tone. <laughs> And I really, really like that. I have one blush here from Fisifilis Formula. This is just Nude Silk. This is also like a very nice everyday bronzer. It's buttery, smooth, and it just blends out really, really nicely. And then we have my favorite ones right here. These are from Makeup Store. Oh. Maybe I should have them like this uh, from Makeup Store. These are so, so good. These are so good. I have been talking about these before and they are so pigmented, but very easy to blend. Look at this print. Uh, so silky smooth and they just looks amazing. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that shade. That is so beautiful. These are absolute my favorite ones. I really, really enjoy them. Um, I'm probably gonna get more of these, I think. <laughs> I have already three. Then we have a lot from Colourpop. I actually put them in these um, containers or what do you say, like yeah, empty containers, so I put them in here. So I don't have the shade names because I have to take them out and see what kind of shade names and just write it on the back. But this is like a very dark, cool tone blush. Here we have, like a, what is this? This is also beautiful. It's like a peachy, no, it's like a <laughs> pinky shade, sorry. Like a pinky shade and then we have more like this looks like a bronzer but it's not it's a blush oh they are magnetic as well this is like a really light pink one and then we have this one this is more like a purpley one very pretty so I have all these right here I have really organized these now. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. And then we have this one from Jouer. This is the bouquet, no, Couquet. Couquet, Couquet, maybe, blush duo. I'm worse pronouncing names, so I'm sorry. So this is how this looks, and this is so beautiful. This is a duo. Uh, it's this cool toned, uh, pinky shade and 
this blends beautiful and it's pigmented and everything. This is so stunning. This is one of my favorites right now. This is from Tarte. This was a limited edition one. This is the Blush Bliss. Um, maybe I should put that like this. Uh, let me see here. Look at this. This is so beautiful. This is so good. Uh, I haven't tried uh, blushes from Tarte before, but I'm hooked. I'm going to buy more of these probably because I love blushes and these, this formula is absolutely amazing. Uh, this one doesn't look that fun, but it's a beautiful blush. It fits me perfectly. Uh, with my skin tone. It's more like a peachy shade actually. It doesn't look like that now, but it's a warm peachy shade. You have a cool tone pink. You have like a, a shimmery one here and a very dark uh, bright pink as well. These are absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely great. I love, 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 love these. And then I have, a, is it a trio? This is from Morphe. This is the blush trio in a pop of peach. I love peachy blushes and this is very very nice um, there is like three shades here this is way too dark for me anyway to have as a blush as you can see maybe there but the other two are very 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 pretty and then we have this one this is from cover effects and this is in the shade pink dahlia they came out with this uh, duo and as you can see this is a very shimmery one so this is more like a topper and this is beautiful this is a pink matte blush it's a very pigmented blush um, oh, <laughs> but it's so 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 pretty really 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 nice so these were my blushes and i really like that i have space left here because um before i didn't have the other um bureau or what do you say like the other white one and i just had this one so uh it was full with makeup i couldn't have any space left for new makeup but now i actually have and it feels really nice uh it would look better if this was full but for me it feels good when i know i have more space because i get a little bit overwhelmed when it's like these drawers are totally full probably they will be <laughs> at one point this is my bronzer and highlighter drawer so we can just start here so these are a few um, um, bronzers this one is so beautiful this is one of my favorite bronzers so this is from Too Faced it's the sweet tea bronzer uh, this heart shaped bronzer it's absolutely stunning and then I have two from Revolution Summer of Love let me see if I'm focused I'm sorry I don't know am I am I uh, Summer of Love so one of them is hot summer of love and one of them is summer of love and this is why this is summer of love <laughs> this is the hot summer of love this is the triple one and they are pretty as well i i kind of like them and then we have the hula bronzer you all know that one and then we have this from Too Faced. This is from the To The Fruity collection. This is the Pineapple Sun. You have like a highlighter and a bronzer. I really like this and I love the packaging of this as well. And then we have this one from Miss Lynn. You can all see it looks like the balm. Uh, well, they are a little bit of a copycat, but this is the Barbados Babe, I think. Um, yeah. This is a bronzer. I really like this bronzer and I really like the packaging. Very slim and very, yeah, very slim. And then we can take this one. This is from Urban Decay, the beach bronzer. This is a very warm tone bronzer. Um, not for everyone, but I kind of really like it. And then we have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. You all know how that one look, maybe. <laughs> This is a beautiful bronzer as well. I really like the Too Faced 
um, products like face products because they make a lot of nice face products. And then we have the classic butter bronzer. I think I have mine in just the regular one. I know there is one that is light, but I don't know if I have that. I think I have the original one. I've tried to look it up, but I can't like, understand how maybe it should say like light or something. Uh, this is from, let's see here, Fusifilas Formula as well. This is the Bronze Booster and this is so good as well. I really like this bronzer. Uh, it's very, very light as you can see, but you can build it up and this is beautiful. It's a beautiful bronzer. Then I have the Milani Sunkist, right? Yeah. Sunkist bronzer. Just a more cool tone bronzer. Yeah, very nice as well. And here we have the Revolution Bronze Reloaded Holiday Romance. So this is just like a blush. Uh, no, this is just like a bronzer topper because this is just very, very light and like it just has a sheen to it. But it's very nice to put uh, in top of your bronzer. And then over here we have three from Colourpop. Same here. I don't have the shade names yet. <laughs> I haven't write it uh, up. But this is how they look. I don't know. Maybe this is not that interested how they look because it all looks the same basically. I don't know. I feel like they are kind of the same as well. I, they are not that pigmented. Then I have like a... Uh, I don't know, from Rimmel. This is the, I think it was the Katie Moss. Um, she did like a collab, Coral Glow. This is like a trio. You have a highlighter, contour, and blush. And everybody loved this, so I also bought it. But I don't know. Do I like it? I don't know. I don't use this that much. I don't know the fuss about it, actually. I, it's not it's not my favorite one. And then I have this from e.l.f. This is like a... Oop. <laughs> this is like a quad <laughs> of shades. So you just swirl your brush uh, like this. And it's very light. You can see very shimmery. Almost like this one, actually. They are kind of the same. Very much a shine in that one. Then we have this one. This looks uh, very abused, <laughs> but it's also have been abused by me because I really, really like this. This is the Mega Bronzer in Cool from Revolution. Uh, I love this bronzer. This is not a cool tone bronzer, but if you not like, don't think it's a cool tone bronzer. I'm just saying like that. Maybe it is a little bit, as you can see, but I really, really like this bronzer. This is so good. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, actually. And then we have this uh, Revolution Duo Face Sculpt. So, yeah, this is just like a contour. I have uh, used this, actually, and yeah, it's okay. I got it for free. It's actually a good contour shade. Uh, I got it for free because I ordered uh, from Revolution and you got this mystery bag. So I haven't bought it myself. And then we can start over here again. We're going to start with this row now. This is the, let me see here. Uh, this is the highlighting part. I don't have that much highlighter. Or maybe I have, I don't know. I love these two. Uh, this is the Revolution Strobe Highlighter Highlighters. <laughs> Uh, this one is Northern Lights. I love these. These are buttery smooth. Can you see this shimmer? Are you kidding me? These are amazing. I have used this a lot like for an inner corner highlight. This has a green tint to it. Can you see the green, like the green shift in this? And then you have this. This is Lunar. Yep lunar and this is also very intense and beautiful as you can see it's a purple one like a purple shift oh my god if you like blinding highlighters with a tint of 
color like like this green or blue or whatever you definitely have to check these out they are so affordable and they are so so beautiful i think i'm going to get more of these because they are stunning then we have these two these are this is the milani one this is the hypnotic lights i know i got this because angelica nyquist she raved about this and she liked like a peachy pinky highlighter um i haven't used it that much but as you can see it's very very pretty actually uh it's very intense so maybe i should have like a blush topper or something this is the maybelline master chrome highlighter does it have a name i don't know 250 i don't know uh i bought this when i was in new york because i have always wanted to try these and i haven't used it that much but you can see it's quite blinding yeah i need to use this look at that highlighters are beautiful when you swatch them And here you have a classic, the Mary Lou one from the Balm. Well, I have used this a lot as you can see, but this is also a beautiful highlighter. I mean, it's like golden, it has a golden shift to it and it's, it's very, very pretty. This one is one of my favorite ones right now. You can see I have dipped into this a lot. The thing is with this, you have this big banana here that is yellow and I just want to use this shade this background shade so it's quite hard to get in with a brush in this area so I have dipped in in this area because this is the largest area in this highlighter but I love this this is so stunning can you see this is the perfect shade uh like for me anyway when it comes to like a pinky peachy shade because it's not that dark as this one this one is too dark this has a more glitter in it as well which i like and i really really like that one this is also one of my favorite ones uh this is the hello uh this is the ju a uh, citrine yes i want to get more of these because they are beautiful uh this is so beautiful can you see this is my absolute favorite one like an everyday blinding highlighter that is beautiful i love when it goes to like uh, gold and yeah gold and peach and pink but i really like gold highlighters and then we have two from Wet n Wild and here you have this one. This is the, uh, what is this? No, it says here, Blossom Glow, Blossom Glow, just like a pink one. And then you have this one, this one I really like, Winter Falls in LA. This is from a collection, I think it's the Dragon something, I don't know, this is so beautiful this is a perfect inner corner highlight because here you have a highlight with a blue tint to it so look at that this is just magical so beautiful when you do like a green or a blue look you can put this in your inner corner and then we have this one from ColourPop this is the Super Shock Shadow I don't know why it looks like this it looks crazy uh, but this is a little bit too dark to for me I think this is maybe it's not I don't know it's uh, as you can see pitchy pinky shade and I don't know it's something about this formula I have two more here these super shock um, highlighters it's not my favorite uh, favorite formula this one is monster this is pretty cool because it has a shift like a very oh they are so smooth can you see like a pinky purpley shift but i don't know about these as i said these are not my favorite ones uh this is uh smoke and whistles looks like this this is also beautiful like a beautiful shade not crazy about the formula 
I have swatched all of these, I think, now. <laughs> I hope you like to see some swatches because I certainly do that. I really love to see swatches when I see these kinds of videos. This is just a small one from Becca. This is Opal. This is quite, quite dark, but very beautiful and blinding. I don't know. Now I have a tan actually, so maybe now I can use it. This is just, this is a bronzer. I don't know what it's doing here. I'm just gonna, it's something I got like in an advent calendar from Hot Makeup. And let's see what we got over here. So here we have from I Heart Revolution. This is the Peach and Glow. This is so cute, like these chocolate bar uh, this is how it looks uh, you have like three highlighter shades and this one this for me this is a blush topper but this is quite blinding and beautiful this one is also from revolution i don't know i haven't used this uh, i got it today actually like in a mystery bag looks like this i think this is more like a blush like a blusher or something then this one, I got this today as well. You're gonna see it when I do my haul. But this is a duo. So this is the Sculpting and Glow from Revolution Pro. It's contour and highlight palette. I'm just gonna swatch both of these shades so you can see how this looks. This looks really pretty. Look at that. Beautiful contour shade and beautiful highlighter shade. I'm very excited about this. This is the, by the way, Desert Sky. I think this is the lightest one because, well, I am pale though. <laughs> this is from Revolution as well. I have a lot of Revolution stuff. <laughs> this is the Sun Kiss Golden Kiss Highlighter. Well, this is just a golden highlighter. I have no idea why they have it in this big uh, size because I mean, I can understand bronzers, but highlighters, this is ridiculous. And this one is new. This is the Radiance Heart Triple Baked Highlighter from I Heart Revolution. This looks really, really pretty. Let's swatch it. Oh, it's, it's quite glittery. It has some glitter. Can you see? It has some glitter in that one. Okay, this is going to sparkle a lot. <laughs> When I have it over here, I don't know if you can see, I have three liquid highlighters. As you can see, I have a few space left here for new makeup, so I will just see what that is going to be. I'm going to <clears throat> shake this. So we have two from Revolution, these two. Uh, this is more like, uh, as you can see, now you can see um purpley one and this is so dark i don't know what to do with this and this is a pinky one this is from ardell um i don't know the shade of this but yeah i don't use this that much uh liquid um highlighters maybe i should <laughs> maybe i should definitely and then we have these two right here so this is two highlighter sticks I'm not that big of a fan with highlighter sticks, but this is from Isadora and this is the Champagne Glow. And I'm just gonna show you how this one looks. There you have that one. That one is very pretty actually. Then I have this from Colourpop. This is the Bull's Eye. This is more golden and darker shade. This is how this one looks. I have a hard time to understand how to apply these, um, this cream formula, but I don't use it that much. So now we're done with this drawer, guys. Let's go into the next drawer. So this drawer right here is where I have a few of my lipsticks. Uh, so this is a few of them and here is just some lashes that I think is a little bit too dramatic for me that I don't use that often actually so yeah I just put it there <laughs> I've actually done this by myself this um, acrylic thing 
uh, but these acrylic uh, organizers I have bought. Uh, but yeah, I have all my uh, H&M lipsticks right here. Then I have some from, you know, the Sephora lip stories. I really, really like them. And these are from Makeup Revolution. These are the L'Oreal, you know, the one, the shine, the color rich shine lipsticks. They are very pretty as well. And then we have Maybelline. I really love these. These are so, so creamy. This shade is absolutely stunning. This is a very nice, I can just swatch it for you. very nice pinky shade like a for me ev uh, everyday pinky shade these are so so creamy and then i have some from clinique these small ones i think these are the clinique pop ones just looks like these these are mini ones as i said i uh, have them here what else do we have? We have this from Christian Dior, <laughs> a very expensive one that I bought, um, number 743. This is like a beautiful red lipstick. So I bought this when I was getting married. So I had it on my wedding day. I have this like, it's not like a true red. It's more like a raspberry red. And that was the shade I wanted. I really really like this this is a special lipstick to me it means a lot and you will have some more of these uh, clinic ones like this is really really cool because this is like a brown really cool shade I really like I mean nudes and pinks coral red yeah I think I I like I don't have like 50% nude colors. I actually have a good variety of colors. Then I have two lip, uh, lip glosses here from Dior. I think they are actually really, really nice. There are a few random things here. <laughs> then this one, this looks really, really gross, but you have to like shake it. So you can hear that you there's something in here. This is from Lancome. This is so good. Uh, so this is how it looks. I hope you can see. This is how it looks. Uh, this is just a very spongy applicator. And this is like a lip oil with color. So this is so good for your lips, especially now for me anyway, when autumn and winter is coming and my lips are very dry. This is so, so good. I really like this. I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Let me see here. This is the Mangoes Wild. And I don't know what... What do they say this is? Oh my God. I can't see the name of these. But uh, they sell them. So you just have to look it up if you want to do that. Um, I don't know. These are kinds of like pencils or something i don't know i got this from my um my husband's uh, sister she works with makeup this is beautiful i have used this so much on my channel this is the matte lipstick from isadora this is the cafe creme this is the beautiful like cool toned nude lipstick look at that that is so so stunning i love this shade so i don't think we have anything more here that is interesting i just saved the box for this one this is from jouet la rose you got like um uh what did you get you get you got like a lip set in this one like a lip pencil and one gloss and one liquid lipstick but i thought the box was so so cute so i actually saved it here now we come towards the end of this drawer and here we have my oh my god foundation slash primer slash uh concealer slash i don't know what slash i don't know anything uh, I have organized these. I have actually done these by myself. I don't know if you can see actually. Um, 
Maybe I can zoom you in. I have done these by myself. Uh, these are like acrylics. Um, I don't know if I can just like, I have like done like this. So it's, you just bend them in some way with the machine. I don't know, I've done it uh, at my work, but they are really nice to have. Uh, your foundation is standing up like this. Anyways, these are my foundations. And yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of foundations. I really need to use them up because I don't want it, don't want them to go bad. Uh, so I have uh, a clinic one. I have this Revolution Stick one. I have this NARS. I mean, this was so hyped, but I can tell you, this is not that good. Not in my opinion, anyway. Uh, this one uh sinks into my fine lines and to my big lines <laughs> uh and it's quite annoying but i mean it's a very expensive foundation so i have to use it and then we have this one this is so good this is a super stay 24 hour from maybelline everything fades on me uh if you have been on my channel you know every foundation fades on me except this one this is crazy uh this one actually stays on on my skin and looks good so if i'm going to a party or i want my makeup to last all day and all night i'm going to take this one then we have the born this way foundation and i like this one i have this one uh this is the wrong shade for me because this is so so pale but this is the urban dream dream urban cover by maybelline it's supposed to be a dupe for the what was that one? I will leave it down here if I remember. But I have uh, Bare Minerals, Revolution, Lancome. These are so good. L'Oreal. This is Lost Formula. This is one of my favorite ones. These are the favorite ones uh, from LA Girl. I have this LA Go Girl Pro Coverage uh, Longwear illuminating foundation so if you want something with a little bit of glow this is the one and then i have the matte version as well this pro matte from la girl this is so good as well i love that one and i have a new one from bare minerals as well this uh, original um foundation in powder and yeah uh, let's see here then i have just some primers you know i don't know about primers guys what do you think about primers? I'm not that impressed actually. I like this one because this is like the jelly formula, the Bear With, with Me from NYX. But I mean, I have tried, I have tried. Okay, the pore fillers are good. Like the pore, when, when the blur out your pores, like the Smashbox one. But I don't know. I don't think it does that much, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I just have some random stuff here. Here I have some mascaras and yeah, just some backups. And here I have some concealers. I love this, this Born This Way multi sculpt, um, sculpting full coverage concealer. Uh, the Shape Tape by Tarte. This one is good as well, actually. Uh, this one from Revolution is not that full coverage, but if you just want something that has a little bit of coverage, but not as full coverage, this one is actually pretty good. And I think this one is good as well. This uh, Maybelline one, this eraser. And then I have Revolution, Conceal and Define. These are pretty good. I love my Jouer. Where is my Jouer? I have the Jouer. Um, this one is in lace, but what do they say? They say high coverage liquid concealer. Maybe that's the name of these. But I have this one and I have this one in chiffon. chiffon. So I have two shades. I really love these. They are so, so good. I was not that impressed with this one, but I have to use it. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Infallible yeah, Concealer. People loved it, so 
it's just me probably the naked skin from urban decay this is good this is really good actually uh, this one is really high coverage, uh, very thick, uh, but it's good. It's from Revolution Pro. It's the ultimate coverage crease proof concealer. Whew. Then I have from LA Girl. Well, uh, and then I have some random stuff here. I have this brow pen. <laughs> this is from Benefit. This is with all these, you know, uh, like this retro pen thing very fun it's actually really good this one very creamy and then I just have some random stuff like a liner <laughs> like an eye primer I mean I don't know what else I want to show you here because this is not that interesting not in my opinion anyway so let's move on so now I have this drawer. This is new, so that's why I have a little more space left. And this is not that full, actually. As you can see, this is all empty, uh, which is good <laughs> for me anyway. And here I have some lashes in a small container. I will see if I can just do like this. Some lashes. This is nothing special. Some. This is. Uh, a brow product from NYX, the micro brow pencil. I have a backup of that. I have some glitters. These are not eye safe. Oh my god, <laughs> these are not eye safe. These are from a makeup uh, makeup store, uh, but I just keep them here because I don't know where I should. I have space for them. And this is from MAC, also a glitter. And then I have some setting sprays here. I have the all-nighter, one more all-nighter. I have this one from Revolution and that one is good to spray your shadows. And then I have this uh, Pixi Rose Glow Mist. Um, I don't have that much left actually. I really like that one. Then I have this one. This is Untouched. This is the Revolution Jake Jimmy. Um, spray something <laughs> and then i have this mixing liquid drops from revolution pro where this one i use uh, to mix up my dry color pop um jelly mud shadows and i have some sponges this is not like fun thing to watch but i have this one this is new uh, that's why i put it here so in this container right here i put some random stuff but i also put some things that i will remember to film with so this is a glitter from lit and it's very very beautiful i don't know if you can see uh, see the sparkle in this this is so beautiful so that's why I put it here because yeah I just wanted to try it and here I have these for my backdrop and as I said this is new so I haven't opened it yet well that was this boring drawer let's get into this one so this drawer is my on my face palettes and here we have contour here we have like face palettes um, just like random here in the middle here we have highlighter palettes here, back here we have some blush palettes and yeah we can just start uh, this one is one of my favorite ones if you have been here on my channel you know that this is the smash smashbox the cali contour kit i love this uh, i travel with this because all these shades are amazing uh, this contour shade is amazing this blush is amazing this bronzer this highlighter is okay it's not the most blinding highlighter you ever seen but it actually works so when I was on vacation now I had this with me and it's perfect because you don't have to have a lot with you you don't want to have a lot with you not me anyway this is the elf cream contour kit I love this I have a backup of back up of this I don't know are the lighting okay this looks dirty and crazy but this is so 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 good these two shades are amazing i love this love 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 then i got something new here from revolution this was just 
something I got for free. So it's like a cream corrector contour thing. Maybe just a corrector. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Then we have the Revolution Pro Bronze Palette in Cool. This is very nice. Uh, this is just a lot of uh, bronzers and contour shades and it's really, it really is amazing, but it's quite dirty. <laughs> but I like this, I like this. And then we have this one. This is from Anastasia, the cream contour in the shade Fair. This is how this looks. This is really, really cool toned and that's not my cup of tea. So I can't say this was actually waste. A waste of money for me <laughs> unfortunately uh, because I like the elf one much better this is one of my favorite ones this is the Linda Halberg infinity palette uh, this is a great contour kit uh, I can use this as a bronzer use this as a contour shade beautiful blushes you have two highlighters uh, love this this is this is an amazing product. It's actually very slim and very lightweight, which I like. That's perfect. And then we have uh, a contour. This is so dirty as well. Oh my God. This is old and dirty. Not old, but well. Ugh. This is from NYX and this is, let me see here. What is it? Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. You can actually put these out and if you're if you're out of some shades, you can actually put these out and buy a new one like singles. This contour shade is absolutely amazing and um, yeah, these bronzers are good. I'm going to put this out and use it actually because it is a good uh, palette. And then over here we have two faced two Too Faced products. This is beautiful. This is the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. I love this. This smells amazing. This highlighter, come on. This blush, come on. This bronzer though, it's very, very sheer and it's more kind of the warm tone bronzer, but it is stunning. I'm just going to show you these two. Look at that. They are mm, so beautiful. Then we have the Too Faced Neutral Face Palette or Natural Face Palette maybe. <laughs> this packaging is so beautiful but it's very very heavy but it's very very cute and if we just open it so this is how it looks inside. I am a sucker for face palettes. I love face palettes. I'm always, I'm always looking for face palettes. Uh, here you have some bronzers, blushes and highlighters. These smells amazing as well. And I like this one. This one is actually really nice as well. Very beautiful. Look at that. And then we have over here like highlighter things. But this is from Hourglass and this is the Ambient Lighting Palette. Let me see if I can open this. This is expensive and I have a video that I have some dupes for these. Uh, this one, uh, it's not completely 100% dupes, but I think I have some affordable uh, options that is not better but it, it is okay I mean this is expensive as I said but it's very very beautiful I mean to put on your face and just get that sheen that glowiness not sparkle but you know like like a natural glow and I really like that I have to use this more <laughs> because it's as I said expensive here we have the Flower Beauty Trio, um, Highlighter Trio, I think it says. Yeah, something like that. Let me see. This is how it looks. These are blinding and beautiful. I love this shade. Yeah, this is also very blinding and beautiful. 
I hope you can see. Look at that. These are so amazing. I bought this when I was in New York because I always wanted to try Flower Beauty. And then we have the Soap uh, Highlighter Palette. Oh, <laughs> Soap Highlighter Palette from Revolution. And this is so beautiful as well. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. This is absolutely blinding as well. As you can see, look at that. This is a good, good product. Then we have this one, Aurora Kit. What am I doing? Aurora Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, I, ooh, I love this. Uh, I have used this so much and they have some very fun and unique colors here. Like this is purple and this one, this is so beautiful as well. But also like this one, it's very, very stunning. I mean, they are blinding and a little bit glittery, but I really have been enjoying this. And the latest one I have, we have over here. So this is the Dream Glow Kit. I have been wanting this for such a long time and then I finally bought it. So this is how it looks if you don't know how it looks and yeah i haven't used it that much uh yet but i'm going to and i'm very excited about it very excited about it and then i have this one this is the beige cosmetic spotlight highlighting uh palette this is how it looks this is so good i have had this like in my favorites videos because it is so blinding and beautiful. Why am I, let's see here, singing. Can you see those three shades right here? I mean, come on, they are just so blinding and beautiful. I love everything in this palette. And then over here, we have a few things here. So this is the Cheek Leaders <laughs> uh, from Benefit. As you can see, the mini quad, squad, mini pink squad. Um, this is also beautiful. I really like uh, this dandelion, dandelion, dandelion. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, this blush right here, this highlighter is beautiful. And then we have this California. Um, these are shades you can buy separately. I don't think you can buy these. Oh, I don't think you can buy this uh, separate though, this highlighter, but it's very, very pretty. And then I have two blush slash uh, highlighter palette from Sueva. This one I really, really love. Look at that, like summer in a trio. So you have a highlighter. This is quite white. <laughs> and as you can see, it's, it's pretty white and icy. But these two right here, these blushes, if you like pinks, you will definitely love these. I love these. Look at these. In the summertime, these are amazing. They blend really, really nice. It's a very slim packaging, as you can see, and I have really been enjoying that one. This one, this outer line, is that what? Offline, sorry, offline. I haven't used that much, as you can see. Uh, this is a little bit better when it comes to the shade um the highlighting shade in these two as you can see more like a pinky peachy shade and then you have two cool toned blushes this more a purpley one and this more like a pinky can you see how pigmented they are i'm just gonna swatch it for you look at that 
if you like these kinds of colors now when it's autumn these are perfect i really really like these i think these you can just buy them online in sephora in sweden they say uh online exclusive on this one i don't know how it is in the rest of the world but let's see here here we have a blush uh, palette by nyx this is a sweet cheek palette i really really like this um i love this orange shade because i don't have that much orange um like true orange blushes but this is amazing i think this is a good quality uh, blush um palette and it's very very pigmented so be aware of that uh, but i really really like this i enjoy this and then i have one blush palette from revolution this is the sugar and spice palette Let's see if i can get it up these are so okay there we have it um so we have blushes over here we have a blush topper and this is a highlighter <laughs> but these are very creamy and nice as you can see they are very pigmented and beautiful i need to use this more and the last thing over here is something that i don't enjoy that much anymore anyway this was the first highlighting palette with colors i don't know what you say but i mean look at this green how cool is this but this is hard pan on a lot of these unfortunately this is from revolution this is the ultra cool glow kit <sighs> this is so sad that these are look at that they look beautiful but i mean it is hard pan on these so i don't know if i want to recommend them because no i don't recommend this because it is hard pan but i mean if you swatch them they look absolutely amazing actually i have had this like for an inner corner highlight it works but it's always it's always annoying if there is hard pan <laughs> so i don't think there is that much fun in here well i have this one container here i don't know if you can see probably not but i have these small eyeshadow palettes i have shown you these uh in my eyeshadow collection so i'm not going to show them to you but i have these small uh palettes over here so now we're done with this drawer and yeah so now we just have this uh, acrylic container left and i'm just gonna start with this <laughs> this drawer right here as you can see this is powders and i'm not a powder person and yeah let's see what we got here so these are my powders they are not that much because i am not a powder person as i said uh, this is the next to nothing pressed powder by mac this is in the shade medium i love this powder uh you have this kind of thing here i really love to use actually to press in this powder to my face but this is so good uh this is a perfect powder just to touch up uh during the day or yeah i i love this then i have my all-time favorite one this is the hourglass veal translucent translucent setting powder everybody says this was so good uh, if you have dry skin and i thought about it very long time before i bought it because it's quite expensive but i love it when i'm out of this i am definitely going to repurchase this this is the only powder i think i um, use like a loose setting powder and this is the only powder i need in my life that's how good it is then I have this from Kat Von D, this Locked It. This was the first powder I got, I think. Um, you can see I haven't, I have used this, but I have so much left and I don't use Kat Von D on my channel. So yeah, I just have to use it off camera. This is, this is not a powder. This is like a illuminating, what do you say? Uh, skin finish, uh, illuminating powder. A pale scent is this 
the shade name. Uh, it's just something I put on after powder so I get this beautiful glow again so my skin is not looking that matte. Really really like this is the dupe for the uh, Hourglass Ambient uh, powder I think. This is from e.l.f. This is a small one. This is like an eye, what do you say, like a eye setting powder. This is actually really good. It's very fine, uh, uh, like fine melt or what do you say, like very fine powder. <laughs> and then we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. As you can see, this is not a bronzer. This is very, very light, but it gives a really nice... It's also powder you can put on if you want some sheen to your skin. If you want your skin to look skin again and not just matte. And then I have the Studio MAC Fix or the F Studio Fix from MAC. It's just a pressed powder. Nothing special, but I think it's good. Oh, I have one of these. Okay, this is just, uh, this should be in my um, foundation drawer, I think, because this is uh, the Bare Mineral Foundation. So these are all the powders I own. And as I said, it's not much, but it's the, I mean, I don't need that much powder. So uh, this is good enough for me. <laughs> and then we have this drawer right here. So this is all of my like jelly mud shadows and some super shock shadows and yeah let's go through these. These two are one of my favorite ones right now. These are the super shock shadows uh, in the collaboration with Halo Top. This um, ice cream brand and this was in the strawberry set. <sighs> oh my god look at this this is so beautiful i mean come on this is absolutely stunning to have on your eyes this pinky shade with golden specks or golden glitter in it and this one looks like this this is more like a reddish reddish base with some sparkles in it these are amazing. I love, 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 love these. Absolutely stunning. Then we have this Super Shock Shadow. So this is from the Disney collection. It's also very, very cute. And this one is also from the Disney collection. This was the Ariel one. Look at that. Can you see? Let's see. Can you see that? Mm, I have done a video with this, this beautiful green. Look at that. I hope you can see. And then we have two more of these. Uh, so this is the lime green one. This is the fizz and this is the glow sticks. So these, I think they say these are like super shock uh, pigments. Um, yeah. Super Shock Pigments. <laughs> and here is another one, Super Shock Shadow. This is Let Me Pass. This is a bronzy one. I don't know. I don't use this that much. Then I have another one from Prismetal. Uh, just like a, oh, like a purpley one. This looks really, really pretty. I haven't used this actually. And then we have a lot of Jelly Much shadows. I have three from the Villains collection. These are stunning. This blue is absolutely amazing. I love it. This is just your voice. Oh my God. The sad thing is they dry out, so it's quite sad. I have three that looks like this. I have Half Moon looks like this. I have the foxes and I have origami. This is my favorite one, but they have all dried out. Very sad about that. This is Super Shock Shadow again. Just a silver one. And these three right here are a little bit newer packaging, I think. Uh, into Focus, Morning Light and No Rest for the Vivid. So... 
I like this one so, so much. Then I have these two right here from Hot Makeup. These are actually really, really nice. Uh, this is a gold one. It reminds me of the Super Shock ones. And this is more like a silvery, pinkish, champagne-y, icy color. And then I have two of this incredible <laughs> uh oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry uh incredible um duo chromy uh jelly shades and let me see here this is the peach out and this is the flocking fabulous these are really really pretty can you see how they look they are really really wet and if you just put them on it shifts like that it's really really fun actually this one is very very strong pink with a purplish shift to it so this is what was in this drawer now we have this drawer this is my liquid lipsticks so these are all my liquid lipsticks uh yeah i don't know i have a a lot of them actually these three are not my favorite ones actually if we're just going to start out uh, these are the NYX slip tees I think these are too runny or I don't know what you say in English but they does not dry down on your lips uh, I don't know they are not my favorite ones I have one from Jouer this is Cassis a very beautiful color and then I have two from these um, Salvation Velvet collection. I don't know if this is a collection, <laughs> but it is um, from Revolution. I really like this dark, dark, almost black, but it's very dark, uh, purpley one. And this is new. This is a very bright pink. And then we have this one from... Uh, Too Faced and I have from Sephora right here, two from Sephora. I have one small from Tarte. This one is good. And I have from Vicon when I was in Italy. I bought this one. It's really good as well. And I have some from Colourpop. Very pinkish, nudish shades. I also have some from Milani. I don't have to show you everything, but these are, this gets a little bit crumblier uh, on the lips. This is a mini one from Jouer. This is Pony and I love this shade. I have to see if they have it in a big size because I love that shade. And I have from BH Cosmetics. This is my favorite one. This is the Serena, I think, or... Yeah, Serena. Uh, I, you can't see anything because it's so used, but I have to buy another one with, because this is... I'm gonna show you because this is so, so stunning. This is my kind of shade. Look at that. It's so, so stunning. Love that. And this November from Colourpop is also a very beautiful shade. I had this with me to vacation now. Just a very nice, like almost mauve pink. And then I have from Clinique. Three from Clinique looks like this. And I can just show you this one. These are more like glossy, you can see, like they have a very strong shade, like very strong color, but they are more on the glossy side. This is the Love Pop one. Here is also from Colourpop. Yeah, I just have, this is from Wet n Wild, this uh, liquid catsuit one. Maybe we should just try this one because I haven't swatched it yet, but it looks really, really cool. Oh my god, that's neon. Mm. Look at that. So, so cool. So this was in the shade Ut 
You Took Me Love. Okay, it feels like I've been here for forever, so I'm going to take out these two drawers like right here. So these are like liquid and glitters and stuff. So these are liquid liners, uh, glitter liners and glitters and everything. So I have this Milan Hypnotic Lights and this is in the shade Beaming Light and this is stunning actually. And then I have two, no, three from OPV glitter liners and I have one from Pixie. This is the Pixie Green. This is absolutely stunning, like a minty green one. And then I have from Urban Decay, Distortion, I think, yeah. It's just this iridescent glitter in that one. And I have another one from Urban Decay. This is the Midnight Cowboy. This is the gold one, really love that. I have something from Ophera. I don't know, but it's some kind of glitter. Two from Revolution. I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, I would love to be, but I'm not. I love this shade, but this cracks on me. Uh, unfortunately, these uh, metallic shades right here, these liquids. Um, but these glitters are okay, I think. Um, here is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, like a green metallic. Uh, thing you know like uh look at that um yeah just like a liquid uh, eyeshadow as this one this is so beautiful this is the H&M wood nymph this is so stunning as well is this drying or can you see that that looks amazing super beautiful and then we have Three glitter eyeliners from H&M. So this is a silvery, this is uh, like a pinky one, and this is like an iridescent one. And this is also from H&M. This was Paulina's favorite. So this is in the shade. You had me at Halo, and it's just this white-based uh, glitter with the iridescent glitter in that. This looks amazing. I have to use this more. It looks absolutely stunning. And this is from Wet n Wild again. This is with the skulls, you know, the... I don't know what the collection... Uh, something gothic collection. Uh, but this is pretty, actually. This is really pretty because it's purple. And look at that, really stunning actually. And then we have these three right here. So this is the BH Cosmetics uh, Eye Lights. Look at that blue, this is beautiful. I'm gonna swatch this as well because this is absolutely amazing. If you like blue, blue with a purple shift. And these are from Berry M. So I have the Asteroid and Stardust. So this is more blue and this is more purple. And I have all of these from Stila. So these three are the Glitter and Glow. These are the Shimmer and Glow. This one is beautiful. This was the one I bought in New York for a very nice price. Uh, it's the blue one. I'm going to swatch these two because the glitter ones, you maybe already know how they look, but these metallics. So this is the kitten and this one is the freedom one. And as you can see, they are very metallic and beautiful. And yeah, I really like them. And here's just some glitter. This is just uh, LA Splash glitter and some glitter from MAC, like pigments, sorry pigments. These are like from NYX, this is pigment, this is glitter, and I have a glitter eyeliner from Sleek. And then we have these drawers right here. So this is my lip pencils and eye pencils. I'm not going to go through these because this is not important or fun to watch, I think. I have like 
lip pencils here and eye pencils here. Uh, and I love colorful um, eye pencils, as you can see. So I have a lot of color pop. Uh, I have LA Girl. No, well, this one is LA Girl. I have these NYX Vivid Brights, this uh, eyeline, liquid eyeliners from NYX. And yeah, I just have a lot here. <laughs> So now we're at the top here and this is the last thing I'm going to show you, thank God. And yeah, I'm just going to take down like everything and show you uh, a little bit of what is in here. But I can just say I have my lipsticks from Colourpop, I have Colourpop lipsticks here, the lippy, what do you say, lipsticks maybe? No, this is the lipsticks, this is the... Uh, bullet lipsticks, I don't know what they call, Lux lipsticks, <laughs> and these are Revolution Pro, and then I have some of these pomades and lip glosses, but yeah, I will just show you guys. So as I said, I have these four lipsticks, I really love these, these are the new neutral uh, lipsticks from Revolution Pro, Velvet is my absolute favorite shade of all these four so there you have that shade these are very very matte but they are creamy and they are not drying at all super beautiful and then i have all my lipsticks i love oh my god <laughs> i love my lipsticks uh they are so so good uh I like it, it's one of my favorite ones. I'm not gonna swatch every one, but I can swatch this one because this is, this feels autumn to me. Uh, this is so good. It's a burned orange lipstick and this is in the cream formula, so you have a little shine to it. It's not completely matte, but it's really, really beautiful. I think actually I wanted to do a full favorite makeup. Uh, so I just take all my favorite for full products. So I hope you want to see that because I'm planning to film that. But anyways, these are the lipsticks from Colourpop. That is this bullet lipsticks and Ariel is one of my favorite ones out of these. So I will just show you guys it was the disney collection there you have it it's a beautiful nude color and it's absolutely gorgeous it has a little bit of orange in it like a pink with a little bit of orange i can't explain it but it's absolutely stunning and the lip glosses i own is all from colourpop except the two from dior i don't use lips uh, <laughs> lip glosses that much uh, I think here in south of Sweden where I live, um, I mean, it's kind of windy here, so I always get my hair into my lip gloss and it sticks, it sticks there and I don't like that feeling, I hate it. <laughs> so I don't like to wear lips, uh, lip glosses, but this is the lip glosses I have, this is the So Juicy. This is just a ultra glossy lip with an iridescent sparkle in it, just a clear gloss. And then you have this from the Strawberry Collection. This is pretty actually uh, very good. And then this is from the Ariel uh, set I got with the, the Ariel uh, Super Shock Shadow and the lipstick. And this is pretty nice actually. I like this. Oh, I have this one as well. Uh, this was the mini set from uh, Jouer and yeah, it's just a glittery uh, gloss. So here we have some liners uh, in this like pomade form. I don't know. I'm not using this that much. I like liquid liners or in, in like pencil form. Uh, I have, let me see, we can start with this one. Oh my God. We can start with this one. This is the Colourpop Boots and this is a pretty pink. I have this in the pen as well so I don't know why I bought this but it's very very pretty. And then I have one from NYX. This one I actually really like. It's very very creamy but it's white and 
like a white liner like this is actually really nice to have and then i have this one from revolution pro and uh, this is in the shade uh classic red as you can see a classic red i have dipped into this once oh my god i'm so bad at using these i really need to this is the burgundy red it's just a burgundy color like that this is the ocean blue and this is the trendy turquoise these are beautiful but i don't use them that much but i really have to do that so yeah that was it this is just some random stuff the other things i mean you have these two nail polish you have like a mascara and i have a little like this one <laughs> i got it like a christmas thing uh like a mac um christmas thing uh well it's nothing like fun <laughs> so yeah now i have showed you everything here and i have showed you all um, like my whole makeup collection and as i said if you haven't seen uh my let me see here uh my palette collection i will leave it up in the card don't forget to subscribe if you want to do that i will be very happy if you consider to subscribe to my channel i upload monday wednesdays and fridays don't forget to uh, click on that notification bell and the thumbs up if you like this video and yeah i really hope i see you in my next video take care guys bye